Well, good evening and welcome to Eisel, Eisel Church. This is just outside of Cockmouth, not far from home, it's about eight miles from mine, eight and a half, something like that. And uh, on Saturday evening, 22nd of May, 2021. Tonight, me and the dogs are going to do a woodland camp, I think. It's just a spur of the moment thing, decided on this morning. So we're going to go into the woods bit higher and see how we get on. Monty's with me tonight after his rest day the other day and Penny's over there eating weeds. So without further ado let's crack on. Well this is the somewhat picturesque River Derwent flowing nicely at the moment and we're on Eisel Bridge. Very old bridge, been here for many a year we we'll look over there, calm this side too, obviously in the distance there, you've got skidder, so it's nice views from here, and there's a nice parking place down there if people walk along the side of the river. But when the floods came, a lot of damage over here and all the bridges had to be checked. This bridge was closed I think for a while. Right, so we've come to the path now which leads into the forest. Could have parked my car here. You always see lots of cars down here anyhow during the day. People take the dogs and stuff off to come up here. A lot of mountain biking goes on up here as well, so I best keep my eyes peeled for flying mountain bikers. But uh, it is what it is. So we'll crack on, see where the path goes to. I've got an idea where it comes out of. Still undecided where exactly the camp, I'm just mulling the conditions over for later on. It's a while since I've been in the woods, so makes a change. I haven't seen anybody yet. So you can see on this track now. The branches off there. Now marked on the map. Been some forestry work going on. I've come out to the edge of the tree line now. Got some good views on the go. Right over to Galloway there. From here, not bad view. Got a little hazy in the last 10 minutes. It was bright sunshine coming through the forest. That's where I've come. And now, so I could follow the track up there now. Wait and see. Monty's having a rest. Oh, it's pen. And I've come out into a, a big opening where they've felled thousands of trees, I would say. Kind of lost my burdens a bit now from last time I was in it because <laughs> the trees were there. Right there, a cracking view. In the distance, there is Binsey. There. That could have been a choice tonight to go up. It's actually surprisingly breezy. Further back up there, I think the wind's changing direction this evening. Isn't that a nice view down there? To where I've walked up. So, I'm not sure which direction to take next. Just kind of follow the path, I guess. Well, this looks very different to last time I was in here. Very different. As you can see, some people have been here. The fire in the camp, by the looks of it. It's off the track, this. But yeah, there was a, a nice bit of greenery. There was like a bank somewhere over here that was pretty alright. Uh, it looked really flat. I'd have to look back at my old pictures. Hmm. Feels like there's something missing last time I was here. I am in the right place, sure I am. What do you two think? Well, I've come to a halt now, I've just come out to the tree line. This is Watch Hill, right at the end of Watch Hill. 
I would pitch the tent just here for the views, but with the sheep in the field and only get moved on by Mr. Farmer, who will no doubt move me on, and I don't want that to happen. So could well actually just pitch the tent down here, flat enough there. But of course, go back in the woods. It's a tough decision. Quite like it here, so I can come out and all of this sty. If I do come over here, at least I've got the dogs on the lead, I can watch the sunset. If there's a sunset. But as you can see, there's the rest of the fells. Nice. Well, I found another spot up from where I was on the tree line there. Just had a, had a look. I said, oh, it's a fairly flattish pitch, so. I know there's a path and that into the woods, but there's nobody about this time of night. A bit more sunshine here now. And there's Cockermer. Come round. See the fells. Very nice. End to the day. Pan round. So yeah, it would have been nice just to camp on here, but I'm not going to take any chances. Definitely don't want to get moved on. It won't be very sporting. But yeah, I'll get this set up. I've got the little berg house tonight for the change. I haven't used it for, I only used it once last year. So the old banshee's been getting a good run out. So Monty's uh, enjoying the sunshine. Be 15 in a couple of months. And Penny will be 13, believe it or not. You've got some energy, haven't you, lass? For an older dog. Right, let's get set up and scram ready for the night. And hopefully we'll get a nice sunset. Well, that's it set up. I've managed to get it right, I think. Just about. It's not a bad view. Oh, look, Cockermer. And swing round. See the fells as well. Penny's waiting patiently for a bit of uh, evening sausage. And Monty's still enjoying the sunshine. So, aye, it's not a bad little pitch here for a local camp. Maybe not got that end of the tent quite right, but it is what it is. So pan round. Got the sheep in this field here, so why I didn't go in that one. There's a sun. Close look down. Into cockmouth. Getting bigger all the time, Cockermer. There's going to be no local people left in it. Like Keswick. Very nice out there tonight. Well, it's time for a bit of scran, and once again, I've got another curry. But I'm going to add sausage to it, so it's going to be a sausage curry. Strange, but I'm famished. So once again, tonight's offering is another curry, one of these um, Home Bargains 59p specials, Punjabi Lentil Creamy Tomato Curry. So the sausages and just some that microwavable rice for quickness in here. Wait a minute. And see how it pans out when it's ready. Monty's had two sausages and Penny's on her second sausages. And as you can see close by, Penny's all spotted the little lambs. Hopefully she won't annoy them. Alright, so this is what it's looking like. I don't know if many of you are into sausage curries, but you know, you've got to improvise when you camp, and that's the fun part of it really. Oops. As I was saying, it's always fun. Ooh, I wonder if this has got, oh yeah, this has got little like kidney beans in. I'm afraid, Mont, you can't have anybody. I'm really sorry. And Penny's just finished the sausage. 
and I'm going to sit and enjoy this and I've got a bottle of beer tonight as well so I'm going to enjoy that as well. Well I splashed out the cash last week and I spent all of a tenner <laughs> last week on a new camping camp, silicone camping mug. Obviously it squashes down but hang on. Penny's trying to lick the bowl. Yes. It turns got a nice loud top on. 500 mil that. Not bad at all. As much as I want. It also squashes down to half of that as well. So I've got two options but I like to put plenty of fluids inside me so I thought well I'll invest in this. Not bad at all. I'm quite happy with that. Enjoyed my tea. And it's quite relaxing just watching these little sheep here. Penny's not too bothered about them. I've been actually looking over. That's a lovely sun. It's soon going to disappear. Looking over towards the fells, blue sky. The forecast isn't too clever for tomorrow. Definitely won't be blue sky. <laughs> tomorrow some rain comes in. That's the way it is. So anyway, those that haven't seen me tent before, I don't I haven't used this one a great deal yet. It's a, it's a proper one-man berghouse. 3.1. 3000 hydrostatic head and I've had that for a couple of years now but uh, yeah I do find it comfy to sleep in still got the little special crivet mat it's done its job it's not brock yet there's a bit more space here than that side I like to sleep up this side but I do it's nice and dark that's what I like about it. I do sleep well in this tent actually to be fair <sighs> Now there was a bottle, there was a bottle down here when I arrived, but uh, there's no surprise, there's a path that goes down there. Mont watch Monty now, look at him, trying to lick this, he'll end up knocking the bowl, up. The, the bottle over. There you go, get yourself a drink lad. Alright, so this is just outside of Cockermouth. I so say you can come and park up just over there. There's a road that just comes up here off and cycle up. There's many mountain bikers come through here, so there's loads of different trails and tracks. All right, lads. There's Mont having a good soup. And talking of soup, I think it's time for me to have one. A bit of flapjack first. Well, tonight's offering, as it might be, is. Uh, Stairway Ale from Ludlow Brewery. Of course, I returned there last week and uh, got myself a 12 pack of this. It was 23 quid for 12, which wasn't too bad. 5%. Very nice. That looks, does look lovely, doesn't it? Really does. Just the sound of sheep and maybe the A66. And dogs have now uh, decided to have a ratch about. Penny and Monty somewhere down here behind us. Uh, that sun's going to disappear very soon so it'll probably get a bit colder. It's due to be cold tonight. Right, I'm on top of watch. Watch hill now. I've come over the fence myself. As you can see the sheep about. I'm looking back. Good view of the fells. And there's a the tent. Penny can see Penny. She's not suited. Want is in basket. Not basket, in his bed. And yeah, this is what it looks like. They come round. I did think about camping there. But it would have been better camping here. I really didn't want to take the chance in case a farmer came. First thing in the morning, and played war. But yeah, it's a lovely end to the night. Once again, over Galloway. Absolutely cracking. And with the sun on its way down. Very nice indeed. So yeah. Obviously in shadow over there now, so it's naturally going to go colder. Cracking view of the fells out this way though. 
close here. Well, it's just on 10 o'clock now. So we've got blue skies over there. It's quite light for 10 o'clock. And further north we look, it's still very blue over there. And we're going to pan back round to the fells over there. As darkness descends. And we got the, the moon up there. Oh, dogs having the last worry and stuff of the night. Uh, have my last cuppa. It's not bad this like. Good line investment for the tenner. So we're closing out there I think for the night. All the lights are on down in Cockmouth now and I shall bring you back in the morning. Time for the final two Champions League places. Morning. Well, it's just gone eight o'clock. There's decent sleep. As you can see we've had a bit of rain on the tent. It's very overcast at the minute with uh, intermittent showers, but it is what it is. So I'll get a quick cuppa, feed the dogs, of course, and then uh, we'll get packed up. Well, the rain's starting to come in here, and I've just got some stuff packed up. But I've actually just put them just down here just to wrap up so they don't get wet. I've just dried the tent cover out there. The outer cover. Dogs have got the jackets on because it does feel a bit nippy with the wind actually. So a final look. Tap my day. This rain will be on for the day. So oops, nearly fell over. Not what you want to do on the first thing on a Sunday morning. Anyhow I shall get packed up and we'll stay in the forest and get down. Probably take us under an hour with a bit of luck to get back. So I'll do my clothes and stuff and get back to the car. So this is Isle Church, I've finished walking. It's a very old church, it still has the bells on the top as well. You don't see that in many places. I'll have a look inside in a minute. But yeah, as you can see it's Quite a little graveyard. I'll put it up how old it is on the bottom when I do the video. But yeah, these are more recent graves. Yeah, unfortunately, this one isn't accessible at the moment. I think there's a sign outside saying next Sunday it's going to be on. But yeah, it's quite a quaint church, this. Up River Derwent, you can hear the background. Not closely, so there this is a private area, by the looks of it, oh well. So I'll leave the church now, and that's it for the day. Back of the car, dogs are already safely in the car. I've locked. I've locked it. There they are. Hello. You alright? Right, that was a good camp. It ended up being a pleasant evening indeed. So the forecast was correct for today. It is going to rain and luckily I've got down in time before this main rain starts and passes over. So the next one, I don't know where I'm going. It'll be one of these spur the warm things and ideas, but probably local, I guess. Got some good time off coming up. Right, that's all for now and I'll see you on next time. So that's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from Mont and goodbye from Penny.